Hey, what up, beautiful people? What up? What up, for real? It's your boy, once again, G to the Q, Q to the T, Q Town, and you watching another GQ review. And man, I got something special for y'all today, for real. Something real special, because today I'm starting a brand new segment. This is a brand new segment, and I have not seen this done with anybody else on YouTube or nothing like that. So, um, it may be done. I'm not saying I'm the first person to do it, but you know, this I'm the first person that I know that has done this. So, the name of this segment is How to Make a Fit. How to make a fit, how to make it fit, you know, however you wanna say it, it's the same thing. But basically, what we talking about is how do you make a fit? How do you how do you take something and then make an outfit out of it? And the way that we are gonna do this is basically, have you ever went to the mall or something like that or just like been online shopping or something and you see like a shirt or a pair of shoes or something like that and you end up buying it and then you get it home and you start thinking about, okay, what I'm gonna wear with this and then you just get to the point where you like, dang, I really have nothing to wear with this. If so, this segment is just for you because I'm gonna show you how I solve that problem every single time whenever I'm in that situation. And right now, I got a pair of shoes right here that I've had for a while. And I just, I got to the point where I was just like, all right, I wanna wear these shoes, but I still don't have no outfit to wear with them. Now, currently I am wearing the outfit that I ended up getting uh, to go with the shoes, but <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all exactly how, I'm gonna tell you exactly how, you know, I'm gonna show you as much as I can, but really I'm gonna tell you how you can do the exact same thing that I do and you can easily make an outfit or create an outfit out of anything that you need to, um, that you need to match. So basically, um, the shoes that I got is right here. Now this, this is actually a real clean pair of shoes, but you know, it's, it's not the easiest shoe to match. So what this is, this is an Air Max 97 but this is actually a custom colorway. So this colorway has never came out. This is a custom colorway. Um, I think it's something, it's like the new Nike ID. It's like Nike by you or something like that, but they have different types of Nikes that you can completely customize and you can create your, your version of the shoe from top to bottom and just customize your own shoe. Now this particular one, I did not actually make this shoe because if I did, then it would have been a lot easier for me to match it. But I did not actually create this shoe. I ended up buying this on eBay. And the reason why I ended up buying them is because I saw the colorways. Like I was thinking that basically this was off white and that this was light gray, that this was dark gray. And I thought that this right here was black. But if you can't tell, you probably can't tell on camera, but this is actually like an olive green color right here. So when I bought them, I actually thought that they were completely different colors than what they actually ended up being when I received the shoes. So when I got the shoes in the mail and I was like, I looked at them, I was like, oh man, like, I was like, I was happy I had them, but at the same time I was disappointed because it wasn't the exact colorway that I had in mind when I bought them. So, you know, that happens sometimes when you're going online and you're buying stuff. Sometimes the way that the picture looks is not exactly how it looks in person when you get it. And that was exactly the case for these because when I saw them online, I was like, ooh, I need those in my life because I thought these was just like, like off white right here and then just straight up gray and uh, black right here. So if you know me, then you know I'm a sucker for gray and black and white and stuff like that. So any shoe that has those three colorways put together, more than likely I'm gonna like it. So with that being said, that's why I ended up getting these shoes, but it, it turned out to not be the colorway that I thought it was. So when I got them, I still liked the shoe, but at the same time I was like, man, I'm, I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do to match these because of this olive green right here. And when you, when you see it in person, the olive green really does kind of uh, stick out when you're looking at it up close because the olive, this is olive green, but these eyelets right here are actually black. So it's, it's, when you're looking at the shoe, it's a, it's a clear difference between the color right here and the color on the, um, the lace, the lace eyelets right there. So this is actually what stemmed me to do this whole segment right here, because I noticed that this was a, a, a thing that happened to me a lot in the, in the past. And I realized that I had come up with a solution for it. So, um, like I was saying, this is actually the outfit that I that I ended up doing. I'm gonna do the whole whole on foot and everything so y'all can see the whole outfit and everything. But the reason why I ended up going with this 
this outfit right here is because of the camo. So just the way that this colorway is with the uh, with the beige right here, the off-white, the cell on the bottom, and then you got the gray right here. You got a little bit darker gray right above it, and then you got the olive green and the black. That's a lot of, a lot of different colors working together, right? So, you know, I see why the person sold them, <laughs> but these was brand new when I got them. So they didn't wear them or nothing like that, but I see why they sold them. They probably made the shoe and then was like, oh, dang, I don't know how I'm gonna match this. So when I actually, when, um, so the way that I was able to make an outfit out of this, which is the way that I make an outfit out of anything that I'm like, any pair of shoes or anything that I have, any item that I have, and I'm just struggling to make an outfit out of it, like, dang, how do I really rock this and like really kill it? Because a lot of times what ends up happening is we'll just do like, we'll just uh, wear like a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt, a pair of jeans or something like that. But that's not really truly an outfit. It, like basically you're just relying on the shoes to carry the whole outfit and you're just wearing a plain shirt and some plain jeans or something like that. But I, didn't, I don't want to go that route. You know, I want to be fresh from head to toe and not just fresh on the feet and then, you know, just regular um, on, the, on, the, uh, on the shirt and the jeans. So... This is why I ended up going this route as far as uh, finding items that match with what I already have. So I'm gonna explain to you exactly how I do it, exactly how I'm able to match any outfit. This will help anybody that's ever struggling to match anything. And I mean anything, any color, it doesn't matter. This is gonna work for anything. And it'll work for any item too. So it'll work for shoes, it'll work for pants, it'll work for shirts, it'll work for hats. Literally anything that you are looking for that you want to match, this is gonna, this, this uh, process is gonna help you do it. So the way that I do it and the way that I did it basically is I go on my phone. I'm not really hip, I'm not really hip to the whole screen, screen capture thing yet. So I'm gonna explain it to you as much as I can and I'm gonna show you as much as I can at the same time. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my phone and I'm gonna go to ebay.com because I actually don't have the eBay app on this one. So I'm gonna go to ebay.com. So yeah, it, oh, I just spilled the beans, but basically um, the marketplace that I use whenever I do this, this is like the biggest marketplace online as far as uh, shoes, clothing, and things like that. You can get used stuff, you can get brand new stuff. So no matter what kind of, um, like basically tax bracket you're in or what you're looking for, how much you're trying to spend, then this is gonna help you out because they literally have everything. eBay is the biggest marketplace as far as shoes, clothing, and stuff like that. I, I don't care what nobody say. eBay is the biggest marketplace as far as shoes, clothes, and everything. And I don't care if you talk about brand new or if you talk about used. So. I use it as a tool and uh, I am, I've am i been using eBay since before I even graduated high school. I, be, I think I've been using eBay since I was in middle school, to be honest with you, back when, back before they even did the payments online, like I used to have to send money orders. Basically, I would get a money order and then I would mail it to the person and wait for the stuff to come to me. So I've been using eBay since probably about like 2000, man like just barely into the 2000s so probably like 2004 2000 2000 maybe even before 2004 to be honest with you so i'm pretty hip to ebay so this but this 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 way that i'm using it is actually a new way like i i haven't started doing this until recently which is why i'm sharing it with you guys today so basically what i do is i go on ebay and what you can do is you can search whatever you're looking for. Let's say, you know, you got a pair of shoes that you're trying to match with. Let's say you're trying to find a nice shirt that'll go with it. Like in my case, I was trying to find a nice shirt that will go with it because I'm pretty, I'm pretty good on all of the jeans, all of the bottoms and stuff like that. I'm pretty good on that. So it's usually like a shirt or a hat or just like some accessory or something like that that I'm looking for. And then this is how I find it. So basically you just go, you go on eBay, I'm gonna try to show y'all what I'm doing right here, but this is not the app, this is the website. So basically you go on eBay and you search for uh, like shirts. If I can spell right now. So you, you search for shirts and then you go to men's clothing cause I'm a male, so men's clothing. And then what you can do is you can go through all of here, but what's really gonna help you out when you're doing this, the main thing that's really gonna help you out with this is actually using all of the filters. So you can just go to the filters. Let's say, let's say you're looking in a certain price range or something like that, then you can actually order it so that it goes like, you can do, um, 
you could do the lowest first. So let's say you trying to you trying to you on a budget or something like that. You trying to keep your cost pretty low. Then you can order it so that the lowest ones come up first, and so you're able to get the cheapest item. You know that that you actually like. So you can order it like lowest price first, and then you can just filter it. Now this is really where it gets it, it gets real cool right here is when you go into the filters because the filters will actually let you be able to do like customize the search however you want. So you can go by, this is what is really gonna help because you can go by color, you can go by brand, you can go by sleeve length, you can go by category, you can go by price, you can go by condition. Like all of that type of stuff is really gonna help you completely section down exactly what you're looking for. So in my case, I like the brand guess. So what I ended up doing was I went to eBay and I filtered my search to where it would, it would pull up guest shirts. So, cause I wanted to wear something guest. So I was like, okay, let me see what guest has, you know, that, that could possibly match with what, what I'm doing. So you could go, you can go to brand and then you could, you could type in the brand or you could just select a brand. So you can, you can search guest and you can do guest. And right there we got 1600 or oh, 16,000 results. So 16,000 results just by typing in guests. So we filtered that, so it, it's guest shirts. So you and you can do this with any brand, you can do this with any designer, literally anything that you're looking for, whatever you like, customize this search like to the, what you like. And then you can go for your color. And of course the color is like, you can choose any one any one color that you have in there or you can choose multiple ones. So in, in mine is like, there's, there's beige, you could do, uh, there's a little bit of gray in there. Um, you could do, that's that's ivory, but if they had like sale or something like that or off white, I'm gonna just do. I'm not gonna do ivory because I don't really hear that color being said too often. So I'm gonna just leave it with uh, gray, and we could do black. So we could do we could do black, we could do gray, and we could do beige. So and then you just now now we got about 4,600 results. So 4,600 results just based off of that. And then you can go through here. And then basically you just find it whatever you, you feel, whatever you think you attracted to, you just going through it. And apparently guests don't really got too much <laughs> that I'm really liking right now. So I must've got lucky when I found this shirt, but guests not really having nothing that I like right now. So you can, you can just, let's say that that happens and then you can just go change the brand or something like that. Let's say, since these are a pair of Nikes, we could go, we could change the brand and we could just go type in Nike instead. So Nike boom and right there we got still another um like 50,000 results so you search that and then you just basically go through you just have your, your particular style in mind and then you just find something that you like and also this is ordering it from the lowest price first so let's see if we uh if we change the sort and we go to best match because that's really what's going to have the best results for you uh in the beginning and then you can you can go through here and you can find any Nike shirt that you feel will match whatever you whatever you're trying to match. So, like I said, you can do this with any item. You can do this with any any pair of shoes. You can do this with a hat shirt. You can do this with some socks or something like that if you want to. If you want to just find some nice some nice socks that'll match with something, then you can do that. But this is how I make a fit out of anything. So whenever I get a pair of shoes just like these where I'm not able to match it and I'm just like sitting there just stumped on how to match the shoes, then that's how I do it. And you can completely just customize the search so that you're looking for exactly what you like, exactly what your taste is, and then you will find it. Because look, this is what I ended up with. And if you ask me, this is like a perfect match basically because we got the camo right here. And that camo just sets these shoes off like mean, so mean. Because the colors don't even have to match exactly, but when you put them on together, that look like a that really looked like they went together. It looked like you bought it together as an outfit. And I'm gonna show y'all when I do the on foot and everything because I'm gonna wear these today for the first time. As you can see, when I do a video on something, I don't wear the shoes, so I bring it to y'all first before I put them on the feet and then and rock them. But I'm definitely gonna show y'all the on foot just so y'all can see how the whole outfit comes together. So, you know, this has been 
that episode of How to Make a Fit. I know it's something a little bit different from our regular review. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, that's not a review. But at, at the same time, it is kind of a, a review of this shoe, but at the same time, showing y'all how you can match anything that you like, uh, anything. So you this will save you a lot of time. It'll save you a lot of resources, because normally what you would have to do is you would have to just have that, that shoe in mind or take it with you and then go to a bunch of different stores and stuff like that, driving around in different places so that you can find an item that'll match the, with what you're trying to match. Now, this is gonna save you a lot of time. This is gonna save you a lot of resources. And if you ask me, the most valuable resource that any of us have is time. So if we can save time and then we can end up with something even possibly better than what we would have gotten, then that's, that's, a, that's a W to me, like every single time. Cause like I said, you're not gonna have enough time to go by every store, you know, like you're, there's always gonna be one more store that you need to go to. So if you do it this way, eBay is, like I said, is the biggest marketplace as far as shoes, clothing, um, accessories. You can buy anything on eBay. You could buy a car on eBay if you wanted to. So I'm not saying that I've ever done it or you, that it's the best place to buy a car, I don't know. But you can literally buy a car on eBay if you wanted to. So anything that you need to match, any item that you need another item to match with it, do this. It'll definitely help you out. It helped me out a lot. This is actually not the only time I've done this. So this is gonna be a thing that I do a, a little bit, you know, every once in a while, I'm gonna continue this segment because I do this quite often where I, I pick up something and then I look, I get it home and I look at it and I'm like, shoot, how, how am I gonna match this? And then I end up just going straight to eBay and then doing exactly what I just told y'all and that's how I find the item. So. This is the this was the first one, so that this is the first one that I did it with, so that's why I wanted to share this one with you first. But this is the Air Max 97. This is actually my first pair of Air Max 97, so you know I'm happy about that because um, this is my first time getting to rock a pair of Air Max 97. And just having put them on my feet for a little bit, they pretty comfortable. And I think that might have more a little bit more to do with the materials that this is made out of. Like it's made out of that soft nubuck material and the mesh. So if this was like all leather or something like that, I'm not sure if they would be as comfortable, but these are these are actually pretty comfortable. Like I, I have no complaints at all about the comfort of this shoe. And it runs pretty true to size. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the outfit. Uh, just so y'all could take a good look. Like, but just think about when you put them on foot, that junk is gonna set it off like crazy. So like I said, that's how you make a fit. This is uh, this has been an episode of how to make a fit, how to make it fit, however you wanna you wanna say it. And you have been watching another episode of G to the Q, Q to the T, Q Town, and GQ Reviews. So definitely subscribe to the channel. If you get anything whatsoever out of this video, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, hit the notification bell so you can be updated whenever I upload a new video. Uh, just go ahead, join the family, man. We, 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 we expanding over here, so. And it's just getting better. Everything is just getting better and better, so. And I do plan on evolving this channel and doing like, you know, the stuff that I see other YouTubers do, like intros and things like that. So when I get around, when I find the time to get around to it, cause I am really busy, then I will go looking into stuff like that as well. And you know, I'll get things like that done as well. So we can, you know, add a little bit more spice to this channel. So join the family. It's a lot of things that's going on. I got a lot of things planned for y'all. A lot of things planned for this channel. A lot of things planned for my other channel. So if you're not following my other channel, um, the new GQ, then go ahead, jump on that too. I offer a lot of spiritual advice on there. So a lot of like um, just self self care, self work. You know, building yourself up and and also uh, financial things as well. So like how to manifest money. So I, I talk about a lot of that stuff on that channel. So if you into that, definitely follow that channel too. It's called The New GQ. So the same way you spell GQ on this channel, then just spell it that way. It's called The New GQ. So check that out. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for chilling with me, for checking me out. Um, we're going we gonna to keep this going. We're going to keep this segment going. This is not going to be the only time I do this. I'm going to keep doing this segment so we can see how we can make different outfits out of things that like are really difficult to make outfits out of because i'm not gonna lie this was this was a this was a difficult one for me like just the color i'm still looking at it like dang i don't even know how I, how i was able to match that but you know hopefully i can find some more stuff to match with it so i can rock them some more but if not then it is what it is 
I find I find some way to rock them. But I appreciate y'all. Come check me out again. It's been another episode. And y'all just stay clean, stay clean, and stay tuned for the own foot, because it's coming right at you. Yeah. <laughs>